Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Moonlighter episode. I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched the last one where we finished up the forest dungeon because a lot more people watched that than I thought they would. Since I haven't been posting this for a while, I didn't know how many people would still be around to want to watch me continue playing this game, but thank you to everyone that watched that. I really appreciate it. So I was kind of inspired by that and I decided to just get ready for the next dungeon boss. And I want to try to do that in this episode. So what I did was I upgraded a lot of stuff. I got the next sword. And I think I even enchanted that like one or two times. I also got the next gear. The iron gear which we've been going for. So I got all of that. And that got me up to 500 health. As you can see in the top left. So 500 health. I've got some potions ready. And I've also got you know a really good sword. What was the sword damage right now we're at? Does it even say? It doesn't say. I mean... It's fine. It's like 300 something, but I've upgraded the rest of the shop, everything that we could upgrade right now. So everything's set. We're ready for this dungeon. I even got some stuff for sale here. These sell for a lot. These sell for 10,000 each. So if I could sell those, that'd be awesome, but it's fine. We're not going to sell because I've already sold a lot of stuff to get to this point to be able to kind of upgrade everything. There's like this banker now that I uh, got. I can't really do anything with him because he's like, oh, come back in five days or something like that. So I've got all the NPCs that you can get with the little shops and with the uh, my sh own shop. I got all this stuff. The only other upgrade is this one. Shop level 4. 250,000. But I don't think I can even buy it yet. Yeah. You probably have to defeat the next dungeon boss in order to do that. But hey, we are set. I don't think I have a dungeon saved. So what I wanted to do in this episode was just kind of go through the desert dungeon and eventually get to the boss a little bit later kind of depends how fast we can go through it but i mean we should be set 500 health i've got a really good sword and i've just been working on collecting a bunch of stuff and selling it getting a lot of money so i can do all the upgrades off camera because when i'm on camera i really just want to be uh questing in the dungeons like that's what i feel like is the most exciting so don't worry It'll be good. We're probably going to defeat the boss in this one, which would be cool. I'm not going for that. I'll let it fall. Oh, yeah. This does like 700 with the crit. That's crazy. We got a chest here. Grab those. So we're making a lot of progress because I don't want to you know, drag this game out like a ton. I just kind of want to get close to finishing it. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. Okay, he got like one shot. These guys, yep, not too bad. All right, good. So what I'm planning on doing is getting to the third level and then uh, going back to town, getting everything I need, get my health back, and then coming back and then doing the boss. Like, I think that's a good way of uh, finishing this up, finishing this dungeon up. I mean, I feel like we're pretty set. Okay, I didn't, yep, I timed that bad. And you're all the way over there. Little slime guy. Let's just, let's just camp here. Let's just camp. Okay, he missed completely. Oh, you spawned so far away from me. There we go. I'm just going to stick with what I have. I know people are like, oh, you could use this weapon or whatever. But I'm going to keep using this one. I'm fine with it. I'm getting used to it by this point. Okay, I thought that was going to hit me. And it deals a lot of damage. I mean, come on. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are the worst. Not these guys, but the slime guys. Okay, well. The slime guys are the worst. Alright, I just one shot him. Let's go to dungeon level two. We're making progress. I wanna get through this game now, because we know the basis of it. If you've been watching the episodes, you know what it's about. It just kinda continues with the dungeons that they have. Oh, that's so good. That's really good. That's gonna kill everyone. <laughs> But I have not yet attempted the boss, so I have no idea what he's like. I always leave that uh, to the actual videos themselves, because I don't want to spoil that for myself. Kill this guy. Oh, he's actually going to take a little more than just the full combo. Get that. Um, let's move this here. I don't really care too much about the items anymore. Since I've got a lot of good stuff already. Oh, 
Oh, I mistimed that one. Oh, you're gonna spawn right next to me? Okay. Have fun taking 700 damage. Woo. A little bit. Okay, yeah, you, uh... You're gonna die. Trying to find the third floor. Oh, I hate these guys. These guys are probably one of the worst ones in this dungeon. They're pretty annoying, as you can tell. Well, I missed uh, the big rolling square thing, cube. Come on, hit him like one more time. There we go. Big rolling cube. Okay, we need to find third floor. That's all I care about. I'm gonna try not to use any potions because I don't feel like we need these potions for this. It's not that hard. Third floor, maybe. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Where are you gonna spawn? I could skip this guy. Because some of them, you don't have to defeat all the enemies. You can just leave. <laughs> you just leave. Just run past him. Okay. And one more. You're dead. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, that dungeon boss guy that appears after you've been in the dungeon for a while. That's pretty annoying. And I've ran into that a couple of times. Basically, what he does is he one-shots you completely. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Uh, let me out, dude. Really? Are you kidding me? Okay. I thought he was going to get me up. Again. I was going to... It's gonna be a little bad. Oh my, I have to use a potion now. Okay, cool. We get it, you're a cube. But yeah, that guy one shots you, does like 19,000, which is pretty good. But it's meant to keep you from just camping in a dungeon or something, really. It's gonna do 100 damage to me. Oh, I'm having difficulty finding the third floor. Which way have I not gone? I haven't gone this way and up. Kind of annoying. Okay, I haven't gone this way and up. I haven't even found the pool yet. Is this going to be the pool? Nope. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I have to use a potion now. That is annoying, dude. I told you. Oh, okay. Are you serious? These guys are the most annoying guys in this whole dungeon. They just suck. Yep. I'm gonna have to use all my potions and then just these stupid cubes. Please be the pool. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use. There we go. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to use more potions than I wanted. That's because I can't even find the third floor. You know what? We're gonna skip this guy. Cause I'm sick of it. <laughs> Good, and I don't really, I'm running a max bag. There we go, we finally found it. Is he dead? Yep. Okay, we gotta kill these guys, then we're good. We can get out. I'm gonna save the progress right here. Can I pick up any of these? One more hit. Okay, yeah, can't pick them up. I'm gonna save the progress right here with this $18,000 thing. And we're gonna clear the bag, get potions, probably 10 potions, and go to the third floor and find that. Find the boss, I mean the boss dungeon might be hard to find too. But at least I'll have some space to get more of the materials. Okay, I'm going to dump everything off at the upgraded shop, which we can still upgrade even more. And we're going to buy probably like eight potions. Let's go do that quick. Oh, yeah, the, the banker guy's here. 
Come back in one days? Really? Still? You still want me to come back? I'll probably have a lot of money to be able to give him. After we defeat this boss. Okay, yes. Yes. Got five. I'm gonna get five more. Because even if I don't use all of them, I'll use them eventually. They're super good. 200 health is necessary. Get three for that, and then we'll save the other five if bad things happen. <laughs> Which I'm hoping isn't the case. But you never know. I never know with these bosses. Teleporting back. We still have to go through the third floor, which I kind of forgot, but if we find the dungeon boss early, we're in good shape. If not, I'm going to have to cut to when we get back to the boss, because I'll probably die. I don't think I'm going to die, but it's... I've died on every single boss. I've died one time on every boss in this game so far. There's only been two, but still. This one? Who knows what could happen? I have no clue. Ugh. That protected me, right? Wait, that actually did damage to me. <gasps> Dude, are you... Okay, well. Those guys are annoying, I'm telling you. Gigantic cube. Never thought they could be that annoying, but they are. I lost two shields from that. Woo. There's a gold chest here. So what I'm going to do is send this home. Boom. Already got something. Uh, let's guess it's this way. Nope, it's not. Well, I got to defeat this guy then. You actually get a little moment of not getting hit with that lava pool, which is good. Give me that too. Okay, don't care about those areas. If it's not the boss, I don't care. Okay, this is the only way we can go so far. Oh, we could go to the tech. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. I literally didn't even see him. We could go in the tech dungeon down there, which I don't know. It's going to be tough, but we could probably do it. Oh, I meant to click it, but it was a little late. Okay, give me some good stuff here. So these will break. I actually need that soldering iron stuff for a quest, I think, so I'm going to save that. I'm going to send that home, and then we're going to stack that. Okay. Well, I really don't want to go down to the tech dungeon, because I feel like I'm going to take unnecessary damage if I go there. All I want is the dungeon boss. He's one shot. I'm just looking for the dungeon boss, dude. Okay, cool. Don't really need healing. Oh, we got the annoying guy. Ooh, like I said, pretty annoying. What I can do... I've actually done this room before. I wait until he gets over here, and then I just start wailing away. See, he can't get me. You gotta use the walls to your advantage. Because they can't hit through the walls, but you can't. Oh, is that the boss? That's the dungeon boss up there. What is this thing? Oh, it's just one of those. I thought it was the cube. Oh, no. These guys are the annoying cubes. These guys are also annoying. Oh, dude. Come on. They have a lot of health. Those guys are pretty annoying, too. I'm going to go back to the pool. Okay, just give me all this stuff. Put this here, and you can just chill over there. Okay. That's the boss. I'm pretty sure that's the boss. Oh, we're going in with five. Actually, we have ten potions total. And no shields or anything, but I feel like I'm okay. okay. Is this, this is the boss, right? Yep, this is the boss. I was like, wait, this is it, right? This is it. <gasps> what even? Desert Guardian? It's a... What is that, a snake? Okay. What are you? A snake thing? <gasps> Dude! Are you serious? Oh my gosh, that did mass. That was ridiculous. And you have a machine gun of lava. I can't even hit you. You're so far away. I literally can't. 
Holy cow. Okay. This guy is more annoying than I thought it would be. I can't even see you. Okay, this part sucks. If I just dodge it wherever I am, then I feel like I'm safe. Okay, here he is. I'm healing again. I gotta heal. I mean, this is why I got the potions, right? He goes out of my view. I don't even know where he is. Holy cow. Okay, can I hit these? Yeah. I couldn't hit that one. I just kind of kind of stay in my own little zone. And then, oh my god. Do big damage. Okay. We are doing some damage. Dude, I hate these things. I literally hate those guys. These guys are super annoying. Okay, yep, we got machine gun. We got another machine gun. Are you serious? Okay. Dang it, I can't catch up. He's gonna shoot something. Yep. Oh. Dude, you move so fast. Okay, I'm... Oh. Man. Dude. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm missing. This is like pure concentration for this fight. Yep, you're doing that. Okay, I mean, it's not even hitting me. Okay, that was good. Kind of. I'm trying to catch up. I hate these things. Just like randomly firing. Oh, I killed one of them. <gasps> heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Okay, okay, okay. He's like half health. Yep, you're gonna reform. Reform dude. Dude, I have no potions. I can't. Wait, I can't re-equip? I can't re-equip my other potions? Are you serious? I can't, like, go in my bag and get my other five? Are you kidding me? Is that actually how this works? Yeah, I want to die. Man, I thought I'd be able to equip my... See, there's my five potions right there. You can't actually go in and equip your potions. Dang it. I thought you could. So I guess five potions, that's it. Man. Okay, well, this happens every single boss. It's like the first time I go in is me learning the fight. And then the next time is me actually doing well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can really do for this one. I definitely want to save and then go into the fight with full health outside of it. I could do that. I need more. I don't really need more potions because I have five. But yeah, what I'm going to do now is get to the boss again and then uh, we'll retry it. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I made it to basically right before the dungeon boss this time. We're going in with full shields, full everything. The max health we can have right now unless I enchanted stuff, which I don't feel like doing. I feel like we can do this without all that. Also, we have five potions, which is the max you can have because you can't re-equip potions you have in your bag. So we got that. And uh, I feel like we can do this. I know the fight now. I know what the boss does. <laughs> he just rolls around like a snake and tries to smack you. He tries to use machine gun, uh, lava burst things. So, oh, so you can already hit him right there. Yep, there's a machine gun. Okay. So, do that. You can also hit the things multiple times. Oh, yeah, he's trying to smack me. I feel like we've already done way more damage than last time. Ooh. Oh, okay. Two. Two. And if you kill one of these, he doesn't do a certain attack. Because that's where the attack comes from. I can't catch up to him. Oh! Yes! Dude, he's mad. He's mad already. He's real mad. Look at how mad he is. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. He's super mad. Okay, I got two hits on that thing. Ooh. Dude, honestly, just dashing every single second is amazing. Oh my god. This is the first time he's done... Okay, that's a glitch. That's gotta be a glitch. There's no way this isn't a glitch. That was glitched, 100%. That had to be glitched. 
<gasps> oh. Ooh. Okay. Yep. He's almost dead. I can't hit that part of him. I'm trying to chase it. Okay, bounce over here. Bounce over here. Dang it, it's too fast. It's going back. Come on, catch up. It's going to be the... Oh, I hate... Dude, this one actually sucks. Got dash twice. Okay, catch up to him. Oh, is that it? Yes! We destroyed him. We hardly took any damage. I used zero potions. That was amazing. See, second time is always better. You're always going to be better off second time because you know what's going on. And you're able to hit him, like, right away, too. So I was able to start, like, smacking him. Like, right after he uh, spawned in. So that was good. Wow, that was so... I can't believe how much better that was than the first time we tried it. And I have, like, full bag. I'm able to grab all this stuff. So just give me all of it, dude. I'll take all of this stuff. We got Desert History. These are going to sell for a lot. And these Naj Naja, Naja, I don't know. It's <laughs> Naja. <laughs> the Jottings going to sell for a lot. So, yeah, this is perfect. Let me just group that. Oh, actually, these are different. We got the Thermomagnetic Engine, which I've already got these before, but this is new. High Levitation Core. These probably sell for mass. There we go. You know, I'm proud of that. That was a really good run of the boss right there. I'm proud of that. I feel like I did good. Going back home. So there you go. We're taking out boss every single episode now, even though I have to prep for it beforehand to get to this point where I'm able to take on the boss. But hey, it's fine. It's just like I grind the dungeon off camera and then we come back and we feed the boss and then move on to the next one, the tech dungeon. Old Gramps got to talk to us. I'm excited to see how this game ends, though. Another guardian defeated. Another lock upon the fifth door open. There's only one more lock. You just refuse to listen to reason. Hey, I've only died, like, what, three times? I've died more than three times, but I've died three times the bosses. I'll tell everyone I warned him. Told him it was foolish. Just appreciate what you have, Will. You have a great shop worth being around for. <gasps> Don't die, Will. I know there's a new expansion on the board with a shop that large. You can employ an assistant. I already have an assistant. Tech Dungeon is next. Alright. I already have the assistant too. I don't really use him to do anything. He can sell your stuff while you're gone, but I'll just sell it myself. <laughs> it's my shop. I'm Will. I'll take over. Okay, so the next one should be open. This one. 250. I'm going to try to get enough for that. I probably will. Because, let's be honest, all this stuff is going to sell for a lot of money after defeating that guy. And I have these left to sell. So I could put these two, or two of them in there. 50,000 and 50,000. That's a lot. I also have this whole chest filled with stuff that I haven't sold yet, too. So I've got two, almost, yeah, two pages. I don't sell these. These are I keep because these are for potions and stuff like that. And enchanting. I could sell these though. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got a note. Oh no, it's just it's not really a note. It's just a uh, yeah. Tells you how your progress is going. One left. And we got the final dungeon. So there you go. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and sell all this stuff off camera. Get money. Try to buy the shop upgrades. Let's look at what other upgrades we can get. So in the next dungeon, we'll be able to get enough stuff for these 192,000 wow that's expensive we'll be able to craft these for 192,000 each that's a lot but we'll get there also wait where's the sword I'm just gonna keep getting the sword that's a cool sword this is the last sword that you can get 512,000 for this sword and you have to have all the materials too there's not too many materials but the price 500 well we'll get there so I think that's where I'm going to end off this episode, defeating the desert boss. I feel like we did really good. I'm going to sell all this stuff, get ready for next time. We'll start the tech dungeon. I'm not going to go into the tech dungeon off camera. I'm going to wait until uh, I record next time to start that. But thank you guys so much for watching this series. Thanks for supporting it, leaving likes, all that stuff. 
Uh, subscribe if you're new, if you want to see more. We'll be continuing the Moonlighter series, don't worry about that. I'm definitely going to be finishing this game, hopefully soon. I'm pretty motivated to actually keep going, because this game's fun. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.